Hello all of you. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about functions in SQL. So different functions like row number, then we have partition, then rank function, and then dense rank function. So these are the some functions which we are going to discuss in today's uh, video. So let us see. We have an inbuilt table which I have prepared. So you can see this is a table of department. So we have department number, then department name and location. So we will work on this table and we will try to understand these different functions that is row number, partition, rank and dense rank. So let's see first function that is row number. So how this row number works? Let's see. So this is the query which I had written. So we have listed out the total table data so now let's apply the first function that is row number so let, let me minimize the window window okay so in this in this particular table we are trying to fetch data and now you can see in this table department number department name that is d name and location is present now what if i i am interested to add serial number for this particular table so let's try to add serial number. We'll try to add unique row number. In this table, we are interested to fetch data having unique row number. So how to add this row number? So we have function that is row number function. So let's see how it works. Now select, we are trying to fetch data. So we will be using the select statement. Now this is our syntax to add row number. So row underscore number and this is the function symbol over <coughs> over into bracket order by department number. So I am ordering this data in ascending order with department number. <coughs> so department number and as serial number this is alias name. So as serial number. So I am interested to fetch data which is having serial number which is going to produced by using the function called row number. So unique row number or we can say a serial number will be generated by this row number function. So select this row number and this is the syntax to apply the row number function. So row number, row number, this function symbol over order by department number. So I am applying this function over department number. So I am ordering the data with respect to department number as serial number, this is alias name, comma. Next I want to fetch department number. So this is department number. Next, I want to fetch <coughs> location. Let's try to fetch one more column that is D name. So I am writing here D name. So D name, comma, then location from table name that is department. So this is the table name. So let's run the query. <coughs> so if you run the query, we'll get the output as so this is the unique number. Or we can say unique row number is generated for this particular data. You can see serial number 1, then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So for 8 records, the unique row number is generated. So we have written it under serial number. So this is function called as row number. Now next, let's try to discuss about partition function. Now let's see what is this partition function. So let us view the original data of the table that is department so this is the table department so this is our original table so we have written the serial number in the previous case now in this case let's try to use the partition function now partition function let's try to see in this particular table in case of department you will observe that some departments are repeated you can see it department is present one more it department is present Likewise, we have new number, new, new department, also we have new department. So, irrespective of this repetition, repetition of departments, the serial number was generated in the previous case, like row number. So, in the previous case, the unique row number was generated irrespective of whether the department name is repeated or not. So, in this case, we will consider this repetition and we will group the data and we will assign the unique row number. So let's see what is the syntax for this partition function. So select I want department number. 
then after this department number i am applying the partition function so this is the syntax for partition function so you can see row number so it will generate the unique number row number then over simply partition by department name so partition by d name so we are grouping the data into the groups with respect to department name so d name partition by d name order by d name so again we are ordering this data with in descending order of d name as so we are assigning a temporary name that is alias name as partition so as we are dealing with the partition function we will assign the temporary name as partition then again i want d name and last location so this is the location so let's try to understand the query i will, i am running the query so if you run this query we will get the output output as you can see the partition column so this is partition column that we have applied the function so that is partition function so you can see accounts now accounts single department is present so it has given unique number as one similarly now next department is coming that is next group will be coming that is it group it department so again next unique number will be generated it will again start from one so one and two likewise again we have different department that is new department again the unique number will be generated it will start from one one and two again new department is double new department is present present so that's why the unique row number will be generated next operations again this is new department it will start from one research again it is new department it will start from one so likewise this partition functions work when the data is repeated so it will try to group the data and it will assign the row number unique row number then next we have rank function so let's see how this rank function work now this rank function again we will apply considering the location now let's try to understand about rank function okay now uh, let us see the syntax of rank function so select now we are selecting department number so department number then department name so this is department name then rank so we are using rank function so what does this rank function does let's see so rank see the syntax rank this particular symbol of method over into bracket order by location so we will be applying this rank function for this particular column that is location as rank so we are giving the alias name as rank then again we want location from department so let's run this query and try to understand how this rank function works so if i run this query you will get the output so concentrate on this rank column so see the locations locations we are having you can see boston again the location is repeated so if at all the location or the value is repeated the same unique number will be repeated for the same value so when you are applying the rank function if the value or the column data is repeated same unique number which is generated for the first value the same number will be repeated for the duplicate value then next see chicago now it is generating again unique value three number then next you can see four then india five mumbai six new york seven and eight fondal so likewise unique numbers will be generated only if the data is repeated it will keep the same unique row number that is boston is having one number which is generated unique number again the boston is repeated so that's why the same number will be repeated for this particular value so this is the use of rank function now try to understand here you will see that for the first value or the for the first location one rank is generated but where is the number 2 so the two number is missing so this is the problem in the case of rank so now you can see here boston is having one number and directly it is assigning three number for this location that is chicago now this the two number is missing so to overcome that we are having the next function that is called as dense rank so let's see what what is this dense rank so again we will try to fetch department number department name and simply the syntax is same as that of rank only the change is we have to write here dense underscore rank over again order by location as rank so let's try to give it 
alias name as dense rank for better understanding so i am giving dense rank then location from department so let's try to understand this query about dense rank so if i run this query you will see here the boston is having one number again the boston is repeated that's why again the value will be repeated that is one rank now next now next unique record is found that is chicago so again the two value will be assigned now which was not in the case of previous that is rank so in this case in dense rank the two value will be generated which was which was missing in the rank function so boston 1 chicago 2 likewise 3 4 5 6 and so on the values are generated so this is about the dense rank function so i hope this part is pretty much clear so let us revise whatever the functions which we covered so in the row number it is it is going to generate the unique number for the particular row then partition again it is working on the groups and then it is generating the unique numbers then again rank function again if at all any duplicate record is found the same row number is repeated for the duplicate record similarly the, the dense function is present again it works like a rank function only if at all the value is missing it will continue the uh, row number so this is all about the four functions that is called as those are row function partition rank and dense rank so i hope this part is pretty much clear so we'll mean we'll meet in the next video so thank you all and have a wonderful day wonderful day and please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon